All right, this is going to be uh, page six of the nomenclature packet. And so uh, let's jump right in. Okay, so we have iron, which is a transition metal. We need to determine what its charge is. Nitrate will come up here. There is a one that goes to nitrate. Nitrate is one minus. The three goes to iron. Iron, Roman numeral three, nitrate. Okay, this next one, calcium is representative, so you just name this thing. Calcium, and that's sulfate. Okay, the next one, sodium is representative, so you just name it. Sodium chloride. All right, same thing here. Potassium is representative, so you simply name it potassium sulfate. All right, uh, we have a molecular compound here. So one carbon, you just simply say carbon. Two oxygens is di dioxide. Molecular once again, sulfur, and then hexa fluoride. KClO, so we have uh, potassium, which is representative, potassium, and then ClO is hypochlorite. We have another molecular one here, dinitrogen, and then pentoxide, or you could say penta. <laughs> another molecular one, iodine, and then Penta fluoride. Cobalt is a transition. You need to tell me what its charge is. We need to unzip this thing. There's a number one here that goes over to the permanganate, which is its charge. This two goes over to cobalt. And so this is going to be cobalt, Roman numeral two, permanganate. <laughs> Tin is a transition. We need to tell us charge. Okay, there's another one, that, oh, number one that goes over here to the sulfate. This two goes over to the tin. Sulfate's charge isn't one, it's two. If you double one, you double them both. Tin, Roman numeral four, sulfate. This one is representative, so you simply name it francium chloride. Okay, on to doing the, writing the formulas. Try nitrogen, that tells me I have three nitrogens. Dioxide is two, and three, O2. Lithium phosphate, lithium is always one plus. Phosphate is PO4, three minus. This three comes behind the lithium, Li3PO4. The four doesn't move, it's part of four, uh, phosphate's formula. The next one, ammonium chloride. Ammonium is a polyatomic, NH4 with a one plus. Chloride is always one minus. NH4Cl, the 4 doesn't move. Okay, copper 2 chloride. That 2 tells me copper's charge is 2 plus. Chloride is ClO2, and its charge is 1 minus. So Cu, ClO2, you need parentheses, and then this 2 goes there. Nitrogen monoxide, no, and no. Iron 2 iodide. Iron's charge is 2 plus. Iodine is always 1 minus. The 2 goes behind the iodine, FeI2. Calcium phosphate. Calcium's charge is always 2 plus. Phosphate is PO4 and is 3 minus. Okay, the charge is crossed. The 3 comes down here. And then the phosphate goes here. This 2 drops down there. Calcium phosphate. Dinitrogen dioxide, N2O2. You do not reduce it. Okay, when you have molecular, you just leave it as is. Two nitrogen, two oxygen, that's it. Magnesium oxide. Magnesium is always two plus. Oxygen is two minus. Equal and opposite. In this one, you have to reduce them. MgO. All right, iron three chromate. That tells me iron's charge is three plus. Okay, and chromate is CrO4, and its charge is two minus. Fe, and the 2 comes down here. Chromate goes in parentheses, 3 outside. Iron 3 chromate. Finally, sulfur dioxide, 1 sulfur, 2 oxygens, SO2.